Hello everybody, my name is Sneaky Picnic and welcome to Minecraft Week Look Episode 12. This means we've been doing this stuff for three months already. That's crazy. And starting um with a time lapse feels weird and commenting over the time lapse feels weird as well. But uh, I want to show you what I've been doing, like between episodes, sort of. So here we are in the end dimension, uh, which we reset it uh, recently, and I'm building new Enderman form, which actually works. <laughs> and yes, I had to kill the Ender Dragon, and I I think it was my first time actually. Well, it was pretty easy now that we are in the end game. Now this is in our industrial area uh, in Overworld, and I'm trying to make a cobblestone generator, uh, but it ended up terribly. I spent over six hours making this monstrosity and it blew up more than seven times. I had to uh, redo several things and I was trying to figure out how to make it work but nope. I ended up uh, taking this whole thing down and making a different different cobble generator. So right now we are using this design by Il Mango, which works perfect. But, uh, why do we actually need cobblestone? Now, let me show you this. is our new sugarcane farm, which, uh, yeah, I was trying to make this for a few weeks, maybe even months, and I've been postponing this, but now I felt like, okay, let's do this. This is designed by Tango Tech. It's lossless, and it's it's yeah it's pumping sugarcane like like nobody's business okay uh, but I actually needed more pistons I ran out of them and I had to use my fortune pick to mine some of my own stone to make cobblestone okay so these were all the farms I've made in the last week and now let's get into the world tour Actually, before we start the world tour, a quick explanation why we are doing this tour in the first place. So I recently hit 666 subscribers, which is, I mean, awesome number, right? And uh, as I said in the beginning, I have been also doing these videos for three months already, which feels very, uh, very good for me. So yeah, and now let's get into the tour okay so now I'm recording and I can see the game it looks it looks awesome with these shaders I don't know where we are I'm in I'm at the spawn okay so I'm expecting you oh okay. I can see shall we start yeah we shall start okay so this is this is this is our spawn can you tell us about the spawn well the spawn I spent like a uh, 40 or more deaths just to find out this this block and then my stupid mind told me to create another world and uh, for the design I just uh, I just was like into the uh, stone bricks and glass because of the dome that I did before that and about that dome right there you can see some ruins as well uh, about that that's your big like a first big project, right? So, also the first small and first big project, <laughs> both. Okay, let's let's actually go there and uh, have, this, have this a look. This bridge is horrible. The worst bridge ever. This one. This yeah. So the road is quite messy, but as uh, also this land around this big dome is uh, <laughs> messy as well. You can see. This this is not like our terrain. This is how this world generated. It's very flat and high, and it looks it looks it's it looks blocky. weird. Yeah, it looks it, it, it's very Minecraft generation. Like you get yeah. these floating floating islands almost. And because we are in flower forest, we have a lot of uh, like colors and flowers. So it looks yeah. it looks magical kind of. So yeah. Uh, and inside this dome, we've got the mother tree, as you said. Yeah, the mother tree. It should be like acacia, but I don't well, know. Well, I, I love these uh, roots on the bottom, how you can walk... I can jump there. How you can walk like below them. 
Yeah, yeah. I just I wasn't sure what I was what I wanted inside, so I made it inside quite bigger. And I also wanted the tree to be way bigger, but I was short on what and it, yeah, it was it took for so long, and I was already already bored, and I wanted to move on. Yeah, that's understandable. Like when you have these big projects, and it was quite uh, a while ago when we didn't have like that many resources, so that yeah. could also like be the case. Yeah. Nowadays, it's very easy because we have the iron farm. I made yeah. the new uh, cobblestone generator. We have uh, villagers. Okay, so I think we should move move on. Maybe we'll do something uh, with this dome and with the tree in the future, but uh, we'll see. Now, maybe we could go to our city. Do you want to show the f uh, the color farm before the city? Oh yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, we can look at the color uh, or flower farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sleep real quick. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Yeah. So here are the main colors, like the m most uh, frequent colors: red and yellow and uh, white. Gray. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. here we have the two tall, which are yeah, you basically uh, bone meal mm -hmm. the yeah, two tall the flower, and you get you get them. Yeah. Yeah, and downstairs is also the light gray but blue. Mm -hmm. Downstairs one more. Really, oh yeah. It was really needed the blue one. Yeah. So yeah, here we have the uh, here we have the flower farms. They are quite hidden inside this uh, mountain. Okay. To the city. Yeah, let's go to the city. Here we see the forest. The not so beautiful, but with shaders, very beautiful. <laughs> Here, here's the road uh, connecting. Uh, let's uh, okay. The first house. Uh, this is your house, right? Yeah, I wanted my starter house, but I, but I ended up living somewhere else. And I put all my cats and birds here. I think this one is older than the dome, I think. So yeah, very old house, uh, very detailed, uh, and all the flowers and stuff like that, all the cats. <laughs> this is cat mm -hmm. house. I love yeah, it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, coming to the city. Uh, two of my houses uh, on the right side on the left side. This is actually the most recent build. Yeah, it's not still it's still not finished by the way But uh, I made it so that this one has like a flower garden and very very lush garden as you can see and basically the idea be behind this house is that uh, They sell those flowers to the people of the city and it's right by the water, so it it makes sense, kind of. It's right next to the uh, forest. I don't know. I like it. Okay, never mind. I'll come to this later, and we still need uh, the inside of the house and more windows on the top and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. it's still not done. But then we have. So to... which way? Which way? Uh, I would say to the left. I think because the right side is not done. Okay, it's it's not ready to be shown yet. So to center, to the center yeah. of the city. You wanna see the bakery? Let's see the bakery. Tell us about the bakery. Yeah, the bakery is definitely not finished. <laughs> yeah. That's the main point. Mm. Only the oven, right? Yes. Oven. It's done. And these doors. Exactly. This uh, lead outside. Under the bridge and to the harbor. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll get to that uh, later. We are here in the middle of the bridge. Uh, let's go. Let's go back up and to the town square. Maybe here we see the cart. Beautiful cart. I love doing yeah, this. Thank uh, let's you. do it. I saw time. saw it on Pinterest actually. Yeah. Like yeah. Pinterest is the best. So yeah, here we are on the town square. We've got the fountain in the middle and surrounding all the houses basically. Is this the bird fountain? Yeah, this is the bird fountain. Another brilliant idea from the Pinterest. To the church? Yeah, to oh, the you church. Will, you will love church. the church. Um, I'm, we, was, I'm, we sadly lost the recording of the church building, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, um, we were like goofing around for a whole 
evening and it was so much well, fun i mean I mean, it, it was so much fun. <laughs> I, mean, I remember I did this where you went inside. And yeah. I don't know what I did. I jumped. Oh, yeah. I jumped from the top, I think, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Beautiful church. Uh, let's let's move on. Yeah, of course. I guess to the harbor. Oh, let's let's actually see. Let's actually see this house first. This is also very recent build that hasn't been shown yet. Uh, so uh this is i wasn't inside oh there's nothing really inside i have added just the staircase up to the yeah. top but yeah can i say it's beautiful if i build it i think so so this That's build really i found on pinterest as well and there was shown only the front side like from this angle where i'm right now and this is actually interesting i uh so there was this space behind this house if uh, i don't know where you are but oh yeah i'm here i'm here yeah behind this house there was this space so i thought let's connect uh like this this road to the harbor this is our uh first uh oops boat i fell <laughs> i fell into the water this is our first boat in this harbor and it's it's cutie i love it yeah yeah, all the way through the harbor, we have got uh, we've got some barrels and composters and stuff like that. The decoration just just uh, just to make this uh, area feel like it's alive and yeah, yeah, it's like a busy harbor. Exactly, exactly. I like the lock, especially yeah. the dark locks that we used so much in building, but they are not natural here. So this castle Probably. is uh, like in a savanna, and then uh, the spawn is the what is it called? The flower forest. We don't have these spruce yeah. trees over here. So the idea is that uh, we we I, I say we I mean this kingdom buys uh, these spruce trees, and they come uh, you know from overseas, and they come here to the harbor, and they uh, unload them to here and we use them to build yeah. the harbor actually uh, still not done uh, still work in progress uh, we've got the old uh, storage system over there uh, we will get rid of that soon and then we will you know continue with building like this this part of the harbor this this edge let's go uh, inside the castle walls and let's mm -hmm. uh, then uh, go to our farm area, our crop farms. Yes. I'm so glad that we decided for a bigger castle because with the castle being so massive, it looks so good. Yes, it looks so good. Oh, do we want to take horses? The snowman. And what about them? Well, oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's totally saying, I don't know. <laughs> oh, big dance <laughs> Yeah, this is Naruto Run. Yes, I, I love these. I love these. We've got more. Yeah. This one is dancing. And uh, these two are hugging. Yeah. Oh, cute. We've made them like several episodes back. I yeah, love them. Okay. This uh, inside of the castle is not really done, not decorated, not uh, furnished and stuff like that. We still need to work on this, but it's coming together slowly but surely. Yeah, we took some break. Yeah. So we don't burn out. Yeah, this, uh, this area I did in last episode. So we've got some tents. This is basically the mm -hmm. area where some soldiers and like mercenaries would would uh, sleep and it could be also like a training camp. We've got some uh, tents. Uh, these tents you would sleep in. Uh, here we have some like storage uh, under under this uh, tent and a campfire, which I love. Here we have another tent with some workstations, some barrels. Moving on uh to right here uh up on this hill uh archery course uh yep. moving on to the farms so we still don't have 
a road connecting the farms basically but uh, still <laughs> work in progress okay we can we can just walk on the grass yeah. we have many horses can you tell us something about those horses <laughs> oh yeah i basically i was basically traveling the whole world to get all those horses Uh, they are runners. amazing swimmers. So these are like the first stables and we have way too many horses. We have only four stables over here. Uh, and you know, houses without roof and stuff like that. Area still work in progress as you may have guessed. Over here uh, some more stables. Uh, five of them if I'm not mistaken. Yes, five. Let's actually bring... There we go. There we go. Cham. So yeah, uh, more stables over here and even more horses over here. We can't even fit them. More horses, of course, over here. <laughs> I I don't know, just way too many horses, I think. No, it's it's okay. You know, okay. the whole army of this castle would need a horse. Okay, that's right. Moving on. Uh, these uh, two windmills over here. Uh, so the first one over there in the in in front of me. Wait, there. Uh, it's just a simple mm -hmm. windmill, and wheat farm uh, is next to it. But this one is well. So far, it's uh, the same. But uh, we are planning on building like uh, like a farmhouse next to it, and uh, yes. like a sheep pen and stuff like that. You know, uh, future plans. <laughs> Now I want to quickly show uh, the industrial like uh, farms over there because in the distance you can see the building, uh, the one building that <laughs> we have. But yeah, the idea be uh, behind this area is uh, like not to have a boring desert over here but uh, use this place uh, to make some like crazy big industrial farms and redstone stuff. So. Uh, here below the ground uh, we have a creeper farm. This one, uh, this is the building covering. Here we have a trading hall and here is the village a breeder and over here uh, also very recent project uh, and that is this uh, sugarcane farm. Yeah, you you have already seen this in the time lapse. I will make uh, more of these modules on this side and uh, then basically mirror this on the other side. But I mm -hmm. ran out of cobblestone, so I needed to make a cobblestone generator, and it took me six hours to make one design, and then I found out that the design is uh, outdated or something so i made a new one and now we are using that one and by the way i also broke this one today but it's it's quick fix okay i'll i'll fix that in like 10 minutes or so i don't know tnt duplicators are way too confusing for my brain and here the last form is the iron form and yeah it's very ugly but we will build something some shell over it and that is uh as far as i'm concerned that is it for this uh spawn island okay so uh right now let's move to your place shall we to my place yes oh. let's go to your place let's uh okay you'll show us what you are working on and like what are your plans for the future you want to show the gold farm first I first build it like a really small just to check if it's working. Yes. And then I expanded the platforms and made more of them. And now it's really efficient because, you know, I will need a lot of gold in my city. <laughs> okay, okay. And over here, this is the Hoglin farm. This is the most OP farm I think that there is. This is like super, super easy to build and you get like infinite pork chop and it's also cooked. Yeah, I, I also um, I also want to decorate these uh, these nether portals. We'll see that in the future. Well, mine is decorated with my hat. Does it count? What is it? Decorated with my hat. Oh. See? Yes, and I you have, have you have a pigman also. 
It's Peppa the Pig from Underworld. This Peppa yes. the Pig? Okay. From Underworld. <laughs> I like so, it. I like it. On to my jungle. Yes, let's go. Just spawn here or traveled here. And I just lived in a hole in the ground. <sighs> yes, yes. And from here I traveled a little bit. You can fly. I'm not quite sure where this build, but uh, the idea is oh. like an Eldorado, you know, with the gold. Okay, like let I me. Painted. Yes, yes, yes. Let me land here so I can see. I will basically uh, rebuild the upper half because it's small. And I was also thinking about uh, building another one, even bigger, like here, this way. I just wanted here some basic little ho houses for yeah. a project or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know so far. I love it. I just wanted to check how the color scheme will, will work. And also my base contains a little farm, mob farm. Mm -hmm. in, in so let's, let's, let's go quickly inside, yes. I have like a basic like uh, mob farm, it's not efficient at all. It's just here, so when I'm walking around, I get some gunpowder and bones. Okay, and so there's my color farm, another of my color farm, because I am in charge of colors. Yes, you are in charge yes. of colors. So, anything else uh, you want to show us around here? If you want to show your viewers the ink farm on the edge of this the way. jungle. Yeah, yeah, this way, just on the edge of the jungle. By the way, have you have you seen the glow squid yet? No, no, no. You see, it is. Just look at the stream of water. Oh, oh, okay. It's okay. Really, really fast. That's nice. And uh, so, uh, if that's all, uh, I think we should head to. I don't know where is the portal. Just oh yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see. see. I can see the pyramid. That's that's looking very epic. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. So this is very my cool. portal uh, right now. It's not gonna like be the final portal because I don't have like my base, like one structure, like a castle or something. I don't have that. I just uh, I'm building the fantasy biome. So. Uh, this this is the this is the black black desert biome. So what are your main plan plans here? Okay, so I'm using black uh, black blocks and making mm -hmm. a custom custom biome. And I don't really have plans in terms of uh, building some uh, houses and stuff like that. I just want to build like a landscape, you know, the nature and stuff like stuff like this and yeah. I uh, enjoy the fantasy stuff and I got inspired by uh, various MMORPGs where you have oh. like these where you have like these maps yeah, these yeah, fantasy yeah. maps so that's 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 uh, why I went for this so yeah th there is the black portal over there uh, this is the black tower yeah this is the black tower and you can go you can go uh, down there, uh, there's water on the bottom, and there is our end portal. That's why I made this tower just to make like a cool entrance to the nether, not nether, end portal. Then I felt like this uh, place over here uh, was very empty, bland, so I made uh, these very big spikes, yeah. and yeah, I call it a dragon nest. I'm not really like I don't have any kind of storyline yet for this uh, for this place for this desert, uh, but it's uh, still wor work in progress. So we'll see uh, in it's the future. Cool. It's cool. I like the dragon nest especially. Okay, the rest of this uh, black desert is just wool. I haven't like textured uh, this terrain. It's still work in progress, but past few weeks I've been working. You know, in the spawn area on the city, on the medieval city. And here we see the red 
don't go through all my stuff I'm, I'm feeling anxious about it <laughs> so yeah uh, here was uh, or still is like a mountain uh, and I basically turned the regular uh, gravel mountain into this super cool interesting uh, red mountain I'm working a little bit on this edge right here where the biomes blend so I've added uh, like these nether nether I don't know what these uh, are called these nether crimson. trees crimson okay crimson crimson, crimson blocks and these magma blocks the idea is that we will texture this mountain uh, using these crimson uh, oh is this a way up this is the way up yes uh, oh. we also need like a red stairs and slabs so we'll use and yes this is the I can provide I can provide this is the entrance to inside of the nice. mountain I'll have storage over here somewhere and I also need to make a sheep shearing factory wool farm uh, that will uh, yeah it will it will be very big so I need a lot of space and I also want to hide it because mm -hmm. it will be big uh, and ugly so I want to hide it so I thought I have a huge mountain let's let's make it inside of the mountain so yeah we've got a bunch of red blocks it's uh, basically the same idea as with the black desert biome now we have like a red mountain biome so we use a bunch of uh, red colored blocks and we'll texture oh hi piggies and we'll texture this whole terrain over there we see the, the cobblestone uh, bridge uh, that's just for me so i can like uh picture how it how it will look yeah yeah you know yeah. in the future and i'll probably use those uh, red nether bricks and make some kind of uh, fantasy uh, inspired bridge so that uh, the cave entrance that we came from right now uh, will be connected to right here here is where the red mountains continue and over here we'll have some other biome that I haven't really thought uh, like which biome we'll build it over here yet mm, it's a swamp biome yeah you yeah. should really think about it I, I know but because of the water color and other stuff I think I won't use uh, that to my advantage oh that looks so good I just woke up and I see the sun through the dragon nest I need to take screenshots uh, I'm sorry I'm so oh, okay. that, that looks course, course. so unreal that that doesn't even look like a minecraft anymore so uh, I want to use uh, this to my advantage that this is the swamp and we've got the ugly sort of ugly colors you know the ugly grass and ugly water all the stuff but it makes sense because uh -huh. we are next to the black desert which is supposed to be you know like devastated uh, land so it makes sense yeah. that it's not like super bright happy it's the biggest thing i have done in minecraft i think uh, can you come uh, maybe to the dragon nest yeah yeah of course let's do the outro together or maybe not guys I can't really thank you enough for watching this video if you are still watching thank you thank you thank you so much and yes if you enjoyed please uh, leave a like uh, it really helps me out and consider subscribing if you want more videos from this world and not only from this world yeah but mostly from this world uh, I guess uh, that's it and uh, I'll see ya in next week bye thank you bye thank you <laughs>